And welcome back for another episode of Been Rolling Playing the Old Republic. We are here in the Dark Temple, completing our last quest. Stay back! I, I don't know you! You aren't of the Dark Path! She whispers to me, tells me to go back to Lord Farshall, the, that I belong to Farshall, but it's wrong! Something's wrong! You must be Lord Farshall's apprentice. He sent me to find you. Yes. No. No. I was someone else. Before I came to the temple, I, I, I was powerful, I was Sith. But she keeps saying I'm an apprentice, just an apprentice. And I hate her, but my hate isn't making me strong enough. You're safe now. You'll be all right. I came into the temple from the city. I, I, I remember the lights of the citadel, and then she pushed it all away. She says she's Anyara. She says we serve Farshal. She says there's no city out there, just jungle. Tell me, tell me who's right. A am I the temple apprentice Anyara, or is she lying? Is the city outside real? Lord Farshall wants Anyara, so that's who you are. Anyara, I understand. Thank you. Thank you. I was confused. Strange. I ran from Lord Farshall. But my place isn't with the Dark Path, it's by his side. Farshall is waiting for you to return. Of course. I'll go to him now. And you should follow soon. He will reward you, I'm sure. I won't help you again. I will not need your aid again. Be wary of the Dark Path, and of any others you meet. Alright, so we decided to uh, tell her that she was, in fact, the person she is possessed by, rather than telling her the truth, because, well, we're kind of a dick. Alright, so let's head on out of here, go talk to Lord Farshall, and finish sealing the doors, and then we can get out of this uh, temple. And, uh, more than likely off the planet. You want some of this? Oh, it's gonna be like that, is it? Alright. I'm gonna die already. damage got a little present for you and now he's dead congratulations all right let's talk to him ah oh, you have done well very well in fact Anyara returned to me bearing news of what happened you were wise to set her mind to rights and free her from the dark path glad I could lend a hand I promised you a reward for your assistance, and I have riches to spare. Take what I have and revel in it. Now, unless there is anything else, I must marshal my forces against the Dark Path. I'll take my leave of you, then. Be wary of the Temple's dangers, then. Beyond this room, I will not protect you. Funny, you didn't seem like much protection, but uh, whatever. Alright, so we get a new helmet. And we'll take it, because, well, helmets are rare at this point. And that is, uh, pretty damn ugly. But, you know what? At least it doesn't alter our voice. Alright, let's head down. We got one more quest to turn in. Inside the temple, anyway. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What am I doing? What am I saying? I still have to seal doors. Why don't you people remind me of these things? I mean, seriously, if I'm going to drag you along, you might as well just, you know, at least tell me. Hey, retard, you're going the wrong way. Oh, thanks. See, that's all you had to do. You know, somebody wants out of there. Too bad. And we got one more door to deal with. 
course this one can be a pain to get to. And you know what? that work out for you. Alright, there's usually guys behind here. What up? Help me? Uh, trying to, lady. One more down. Yeah, it looks like we both took uh, a pretty good beating in that one. But now that that's dealt with, if we can't get to that door without incident and uh, finish this hello stranger my internal chronometer tells me it has been exactly 963 years since this hologram was made have the Sith truly lived in fear of me for so long I guess that would depend on who you are and who you ask a careful answer, but you certainly don't need to fear me. This image is all that remains of Kelethur. Like so many before me, I challenged the Emperor and was buried in this temple. Fortunately, I had just enough time to make this, an interactive image that would transmit my secrets to whomever was bold enough to find my tomb and unlock it. Actually, I was trying to seal up this door for good. Then it's true. The Sith still cower in fear of insignificant me. The way of the Sith lies in channeling the Force through the use of powerful emotions. Fear is the chief of these. The Sith feed on palpable dread. They've built a whole empire out of fear. It's a lie. Fear is a lie. Passion, a lie. Fear gives temporary power, and passion is easily manipulated. Real strength in the Force comes when one is no longer afraid. And one can purge fear when one stops grasping. After power, after things, after life itself. And allows the Force to guide him. There is only the Force. You really are an idiot. My peers obviously did not think so. They considered my teachings dangerous. What I learned only lives on through this image and its device. Yet I am one with the Force. Eternal and at peace. Take them. Take my teachings to the Sith. They will find power there, but a different kind. Not of darkness, but light. These heresies must be destroyed. Then do so. Strike out against knowledge and see what comes of it. If you destroy these teachings, the light does not go out. Remember, fear is not the only way. Uh, whatever you say, pal. Alright, let's, uh, get out of here and start turning in some quests. Alright, let's have ourselves a conversation with this helmet on and see just how bad it looks. My network of spies reports that you crushed my enemies underfoot and found the symbols of power I requested. We have a deal. I expect you to honor it. I had not forgotten. I, too, have been very busy. Here is the data my servants collected before the temple transformed them. Let the Empire make of it what they will. Enjoy your Empire while it lasts. Actually, that reminds me. There's one last itty-bitty little thing you can do. You see, power is useless without subjects. So, 
I'd be grateful. When you turn in the data, you'd encourage the Imperials to send more expeditions my way. You're really every bit as conniving as the real thing. You know that. Yes. I do think I've finally found my true calling. I can assure you, my gratitude if you send more slaves to be my followers will not be insubstantial. Alrighty. So let's uh, head on out. We'll go out the easy way. And uh, turn in some quests. Should have one. There he is. Ah, oh, the only thing more powerful than the Dark Temple. Any luck getting that data? I didn't do this for a reward. Hey, you actually came through. Can't say I was expecting that. Can't say it's not a relief. Now we can finally stop sending expeditions in there, wasting all those slaves who should be building monuments to the Empire. Actually, I think data like this calls for more expeditions. Had a look at it, did you? Well, it's not really my call to make, but I'll forward your recommendation to my superiors. I'm sure they'll see the wisdom of my suggestion. I'm sure they will. Now, our business is done here. Goodbye then, and thanks for the data. Your service to the Empire will not be forgotten. Yeah, better not. And commendation. Right. Turn this in. Your archaeologist team is dead. Killed for the relics they uncovered. I have them now. Interesting. The Dark Temple's presence continues to surprise and fascinate. I'll quarantine the artifacts for future study. A shame we lost the whole team. At least it wasn't a total loss. After all, we got what we came for. Glad I could lend a hand. Whatever secrets these pieces hide, we'll find them. Thank you. Guy just sounds like a straight up pedophile. Alright, let's see here. I already got a chess piece, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Or a modifiable chess piece, I should say. Alright, let's chat with you. You're back. I hope you sealed the chambers of the ancients. Keleth Ur's chamber, especially. I'm terrified to think what would happen if Keleth Ur and his crazed ideas were to re-emerge. There was a hollow, but the message is destroyed. Keleth Ur's secrets have been contained along with the other ancients. You have done well. And he wants to give us a vibro knife, which, eh, I can make one. So, not gonna worry about it. And, what piece of mail did we get? Uh, in order to mitigate, blah, 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 blah. feel free to pause and read. Should you so choose. All right, let's uh, move on. Turn in the rest of these quests, which I only have two. Ready for departure. So let's enjoy your stay. All right, so the Imperial agent story seems to be based around uh, threats to the Empire and uh, feeling of uh, kind of terrorists and things of that nature and I mean I guess that would be kind of what you would expect for like a CIA type but uh, I don't know it hasn't really quite uh, captured that whole Star Wars feel to me yet you know, I don't really connect to this as much as the others, but then again, you know, Imperial Agents, you don't really have much of to go on when it comes to the movies. But, uh, eh, we'll see how it plays out. It may get better. Of course, it may get worse. And eh, let's turn this on. Back already? And you have the transmitters? Don't act too surprised. I'll think you had no faith in me. You're right. I owe you thanks. If you'll give me a moment, I'll upload the data to High Command and we'll see what's what.
This is worse than I ever would have imagined. Lord Grathen's behind this. He has to be. What are you talking about? He's covered his tracks well. We won't be able to prove it, but Lord Grathen has been sending security codes and planetary readouts off-world. Everything an invading army would need. Major Shellister is already en route to the probable invasion site with every soldier he can find. They'll meet you just across the bridge. Hurry. Eh, no thanks. Well, let's see. I'm going to take the commendation. And let's get out of here. Alright, so, as I was saying, um... You know, there really isn't much to go on as far as agents from movies. Uh, you know... When it comes to Sith, you know, you of course have Vader and the Emperor. Even the Bounty Hunter, of course, you have Boba Fett. And Bosk, to a lesser extent. Uh, but... The Agents, not so much. You know, the Agents is kind of one of those things where it's like, eh, you kind of... Someone for five seconds, but, you know, that was it. So... But I mean, as far as what the story is supposed to be concerning, sure, okay, you know, I guess it fits, but... I suppose this probably would have fit more with the Republic, but then again, the Republic has quite a few storylines going this way, if you think about it. I mean, the Jedi Knight alone is, you know, here's a Sith Lord come, you know, sn who snuck onto Coruscant and is causing subterfuge and all that fun stuff, and damn near disabled the entire planet. Destination. Enjoy your stay. But, uh... I guess it is different to see it on the Empire side rather than, uh... You know, just serving a Sith Master or, you know, going after the Great Hunt and, uh... Basically being, I guess, on the trail of the Mandalore? I mean, that's what I get from Bounty Hunter anyway is eventually, you know, Mandalar will become a presence that we will be face to face with as opposed to uh, the Sith characters never meeting the Emperor. But uh, alright, let's train for the last time Always here. go for the quick and silent kill. Whatever you say. Fast recon immediately finishes, and that's our little heal mechanic. Alright. This concludes our business. Good. Alright, let's go see the keeper and uh, see if we got any information out of the guy I did not kill. Lord of the We've got wreckage coming down over the city. From that height and at that velocity, the collateral damage alone could cost millions. If the reactor core was breached, the radiation damage will... I don't care about the radiation damage, dammit. Get me security footage, communications logs, something we can use. Shouldn't someone be celebrating our successful return? All military channels are reporting in. The Dominator has been completely destroyed. Someone want to tell me what the Dominator is? It's good to see you. There was a secondary target. Apparently... Watcher 2, I still need confirmation. And you, Agent, get ready to move. We need everyone operational. Sorry, sir. But there were over 3,000 people on that ship. Half of them civilians. I'm aware of that. Do your job, Watcher 2. Run the numbers. Lockdown procedures are in place. All traffic has been grounded. Initial analysis is done. Cross-checking with the droids. Getting conflicting reports from the Car City spaceport. Trying to sort it out. Nothing could have survived that explosion. All sources confirm casualties are 100%. Then Darth Jadis is dead. Who did this? What happened? There was an explosion aboard the Dominator. We're not sure about the origin, but it has to be connected to the dissidents. Raka Kalam Kala. Ninja Oramag Young Migik. Darth Jadis was leaving on a special tour of the Empire. He brought military personnel, civilians, and Sith to his flagship as part of some grand vision. Now they're all dead. How are we responding? 
Standard planetary security procedures. No one goes anywhere until we say so. Sir, we've got a starship trying to take off. Several dissidents from the watch list are aboard. Military squads are moving to intervene. You'll blow the ship to pieces. I want the terrorists alive and I want their computer intact. You, Fixer, do we have any SEC-M units available? What? I don't... The SEC-M's, the mouse droids. Find one and bring it back now. Whatever ordeal you went through in the Dark Temple, your recovery will have to wait. I need you in the field. I'm ready to go, sir. One moment. Fixer! I have the droid here. Good. Agent, I need you to get to the city cargo port. There's a terrorist ship attempting to take off. Take the mouse droid and deliver it into one of the ship's maintenance conduits. With the droid aboard, we can disable the hyperdrive and download its computer contents. Let me stow away. I'll handle the terrorists personally. No. I appreciate the sentiment, but it's too risky. We do this my way. Get going. We need you to plant that mouse droid. Any conduit on the ship's outer hull should do. And when you're back, we have things to discuss. Alright, so we get an earpiece, but we already have one. So we will take the... that thing, and uh... What did I do with that thing? There it is. Let's throw that on. And it looks like, uh... Darth Jadis' ship, the Dominator, has been destroyed. And, uh, yeah, the terrorists are attempting to escape the planet, and we need to stop them. But rather than go in guns a blazing, like we would with, well, all seven other classes, we're going to be discreet and sneak a mouse droid onto their ship in order to disable it. And of course, once it's disabled, the mouse droid can download all the data on the computer and uh, we can learn more from them. But we have to get there before the military units get there and simply destroy the ship. So let's head over to the space Ready port. for departure. Enjoy your stay. Okay, so that part where I was saying the story seemed a little stale and weak, got a little bit better. Got a little bit better. Of course, if we get there and find out uh, Darth Jadis is going completely Chuck Norris on everybody, um, I'm not saying that would help or hurt, but it'd be different. You don't normally actually get to see people survive things of that nature. At least not up close. You get cinematics of it, and, you know, Satil Sean blocking a lightsaber purely with the force in her hand. Or someone taking a grenade to the face and, you know, barely getting scarred. And, oh, wants us to go to the spaceport inside the city. Here, I'm <laughs> going heading outside the city. Whoops. It's alright. It's just around the corner. Not a problem. Alright, so it looks like we have a bonus mission to kill 10 terrorists. So, we will do that. And it looks like the uh, bombing of this area is, I guess, tied to the agent then. Seeing as we saw more bombs of that nature. But, uh, eh. Let's head in here and do some work. I don't see anyone around. It's usually a good sign. Which is to say it's not. And here we go. What's going on, gentlemen? Spike, come on! All going down. up, sir? What the booty? Uh, 
front. Down you go. Oh, don't tell me I got the companion bug where she. Okay. She's finally upright. And you attack that one. I'm going for this one. Come on, go down. Thank you. Go faster here. Come on. Cripes that hurt. Oh, what do you expect? One more down. All right. We need to heal our companion at this point. Since she took care of the uh, silver for us. Da -da 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 -da. I still gotta kill four more dudes. Which shouldn't be a problem. And don't ask me why the guy is very far away from his loot. Uh, what's with the cargo? Okay. Somehow that seems more like a uh, Jedi or Force user thing, but whatever. Bounty Hunter can do it too, so I guess there's that. Let's head on back to the keeper and see what we found out. Not really going to worry about the uh, bonus mission at this point since we've already completed it and uh, we're just trying to get off this damn rock. Alright, see you in a minute. Alright, let's see what happens. Uh, looks like I gotta go back up there. Welcome back, Agent. Excellent work out there. Absolutely excellent. The mouse droid has just sent the contents of the ship's computer, sir. I'll send the military to pick up the dissident. At least one thing's gone smoothly today. The worst seems to have passed, but don't expect to rest any time soon. Do we know any more about the attack? We're fairly certain the explosion came from inside the Dominator. In all likelihood, one of the civilians on board was the bomber. Keeper. I'm receiving a transmission. Someone's broadcasting a holo recording to the entire Imperial Communications Network. I've got a bad feeling about this. Let's see it, Watcher 2. And track down the source. Citizens of the Empire, this is the Eagle. I'm here to tell you that our government is corrupt. When the Emperor signed his treaty with the Galactic Republic, we were promised a new epoch. Glory unrivaled since the first Sith dynasty. Instead, our empire has suffered. Apathetic moths and wicked lords of the Dark Council vie for power, while our soldiers die over worthless planets in nameless star systems. Typical consolidationist rhetoric. Watch it too. Keep trying to find a source for the broadcast. Everyone else start pulling up our files on the Eagle. You've heard of him before? 
We've been hearing rumors about the Eagle for years, but we never thought he could pull off anything this big. Another mistake. Anyone who speaks out in favor of reform is kidnapped and tortured by Imperial intelligence. This must not continue. The Ministry of Logistics reports that they can't jam the signal. Everyone in the Empire is seeing this. A short while ago, a group of defiant revolutionaries destroyed an Imperial dreadnought. 3,000 people were aboard, including Darth Jadis, a Lord of the Dark Council. We chose to strike at Darth Jadis publicly so that every Imperial citizen would know the truth. The Dark Council is not invulnerable. We can affect change. We regret the sacrifice of so many civilians, but it was necessary. The Empire cannot cover up this momentous event. Imperial intelligence cannot silence our call to arms. Get to the point, you piece of filth. What is it you really want to say? What do you mean? Here, here it comes. This is only the first step towards a better future. We have agents throughout the Empire preparing to strike again and again. We will not relent until our government chooses strength over weakness. Unity over discord. We will continue to show the anger of the people. This is the Eagle. End transmission. So, our enemy has a name. You think you can deal with that, Agent? It won't be a problem, sir. Glad to hear it. We've made mistakes today. We underestimated the Eagle. We were too slow to eliminate the dissidents. We assumed the Dark Temple was the sole terrorist target. But you performed above and beyond expectations. You showed you can handle these people, and now you're going to show us the way forward. Nice to know someone recognizes my skills. For once, try to sound professional. You are going to head our operation to dismantle the Eagle's network. You will locate and eliminate his terror cells through infiltration, manipulation, and assassination. I am assigning you a rank and designation as suits your new position. You no longer have a name. You will answer only to Cypher 9. Why Cypher? Cypher agents are faceless. They go wherever needed, become whoever is necessary to get the job done. Congratulations, Cypher 9. You earned this. Cypher 9, huh? Cute. But I think I'll keep calling you Agent. With the rank come certain privileges, including a degree of operational independence. You may recruit your own operatives and you will be outfitted with a starship. Watcher 2, you will remain Cypher 9's liaison to base. I assume that won't be a problem. No problem, sir. Glad to stay a part of this operation. Good. Begin analyzing all reports on recent dissident activity. I want a list of possible terror cell locations within the hour. The Eagle says he's got agents around the galaxy. Assuming he's telling the truth, you're going to be doing some traveling. There are worse fates than seeing a few new planets. Indeed. Your starship is at the spaceport. It's been refit and removed from public record. Watcher 2 will upload likely activity centers for the Eagle and his network. Proceed to your targets as you see fit. The cells will be eliminated, along with the Eagle. Be careful of these people, Cypher. Destroying the Dominator was no mean feat. Killing Darth Jadis was nearly unthinkable. But this is our job. Do whatever is required. And good luck. Alright, so he wants to give us a gun. Again, ours is moddable, so I'm going to just keep ours. Alright, and we are now Cypher 9, rather than an just a regular agent. Wow, way to suck it. Inanimate objects there, bro. Alright. So let's head on out of here and go see our ship. Let's see, we're no longer an agent. We are now Cypher Agent. Come on. There it is. Alright, so... Jadis is dead, and there's some uh, dude out there calling himself the Eagle. And uh, we need to deal with him, 
as well as all of his little terror cells spread throughout the Empire. And maybe even on some Republic worlds, uh, hiding from us. Ready for departure. Enjoy your stay. Sounds like it should be some fun. That goes way down there. I should jump there sometime. I'm sure the view would be amazing for all of three seconds. Alright, so... We get our own ship. Which, of course, tends to happen once you hit this point in the story. For uh, all classes. At least the seven we've been through so far. And, uh... I don't think anyone will be waiting for us at our uh, ship to take us out. Unless, of course, there are more terrorists on this planet that uh, wish to kill us. We have now come to the end of the agent, which means all we have left now is the counselor. And then we will be ready to uh, move on to destination. Act one for Enjoy everyone. your stay. I'm sure act one will be uh, much different from the prologues. I'm sure the moral choices will be uh, a little more stronger, I should say. Rather than, uh, oh, give the mask to him or give the mask to her. I really don't care who gets it. I can turn you guys in, you all can die anyway. Now it seems we're going to have to uh, turn people to uh, work for us, trick people into thinking we're working for them, and uh, killing people just for funsies. And killing people for funsies, pretty much the way I, uh, I demand it to be. And don't ask me why I'm going up. Come on, jump the railing. Thank you. Let's see our ship, which is all the way over here. Come on, show me the elevator buttons. And there's people here. That's usually a good sign that I won't be uh, accosted. gear right next to the uh, ramp. Looks like a stealth bomber. take a tour of our new ship. Oh, ah, I mean, greetings. I am 2VR8, that totem droid for this vessel. You must be my new master. Gentle, kind new master. A gift from my superior? Here to keep an eye on me, I presume. 
My only directive is your satisfaction, Master. Besides, my photoreceptors are not surveillance grade. I am programmed for a wide array of tasks, including but not limited to meal preparation, ship maintenance, janitorial duty, and etiquette. Welcome aboard the X-70B Phantom, an experimental prototype resembling a luxury shuttle that conceals the combat capabilities of a heavy starfighter. You'll find all of the standard amenities, including your own private captain's locker for storing valuables. The astrogation console contains a constantly updated map of the known galaxy. Interstellar communications are accessed via the ship's holo terminal. Priority alerts that you may find useful are available from the Imperial Holonet console. Lastly, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to issue new orders. Any questions, Master? I have a mission to complete. Time to see what this ship can do. Thank goodness you aren't deactivating me. I mean, good luck. I regret I am unable to offer you combat support, Master. Frankly, my chassis couldn't withstand the stress. However, should any errands arise that are beneath your superior status, please do not hesitate to call upon me. I function to serve you. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on your bridge. It will program the proper astrogation coordinates and activate the engines. Okay. So we get our own droid as usual. And uh, let's poke this thing. Nice digs. Think you got a message on that thing. Download and begin playback. Cypher 9, intelligence is finalizing your target list, but in the meantime, there's a formality we need to address. With Darth Jadis's demise, his seat on the Dark Council has opened. It will be filled by his daughter and sole apprentice, Darth Jorid. Jadis has a daughter? Lord Jorid demands to meet with you. Proceed to Korriban at once. She has authorized your presence in the Sith Academy. I've never been to the Empire's first capital. I assume you haven't either. Met a guy who went grave robbing there once. Lost his tongue to the Sith and felt lucky. Not my kind of place. Give me a shout if you need something. I'm gonna see how they stock the lounge. Alright, so rather than uh, going to some strange area, or, well, strange area. Some new area, I should say. We are going to Korriban. Just like the Jedi Knight went to Tython. Rather than, uh, going to... Always a pleasure, Master. I hope you're having an excellent day and feel no desire to deactivate me. There's the exit. Let's see what's back here. Da, 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 da. There's a locker. And she wants to have a chat. So we're clear. Imperial rations are nasty. And I lived on grubs and two-credit wine for a year. They raise you on those things. No wonder you're a bunch of stiffs. I'll request more variety in our supplies next time. Not even a smile. Here's what I don't get. You got a little brass, you got a little style. You're not totally one of them. But you still play Keeper's pet. Shoot all the right people when you could work for... Her. Huh. Whoever. I could point out that goes for you as well. You mean you could avoid the question? Me? I'm in long enough to lay low, pick up some cash, sort out some personal stuff you guys can help with, then I'm gone. What sort of personal stuff? Made a deal with your bosses when I came on board. Nothing you need to worry about. Now let's get back to it before the world misses us. Well, whatever you say, lady. All right. Let's see anything else on here? Like an engine room, crew quarters. Nothing there. And that was storage. The exit, the whole terminal, the lounge. Uh, let's see. Over here is the med bay. Over here is the conference room. And... 
da, da, da. Last but not least, of course, we've already been up here to the bridge. Alright, so that does it for us and the Imperial Agent. Tune in next time as we will head to Corbon and meet with the uh, replacement for Darth the Jadis, his daughter. I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.